the idea of quitting your corporate job and starting your own business can be both exciting and daunting at the same time. While the thought of being your own boss and working on something you're passionate about is appealing, the fear of financial insecurity and uncertainty can hold many people back. It definitely did for me. From my experience, one way that you can explore mitigating these fears is by starting a side hustle. And so in this episode, we are going to chat about your corporate escape plan and how a side hustle can help you transition out of your nine to five grind. Are you a subscriber to my financial freedom without corporate newsletter? Oh my gosh, if you're not, please sign up. You have to because it's a great, great way for you to have even more insights and context to what it is that we talk about on this podcast. And so make sure that you check out the show notes so that you can find a link to subscribe to this newsletter where I dive in myself with more tips and insights, as well as having other people, other amazing self-employed success entrepreneurs and freelancers share with you tips and tricks. And so you're in the right place. I'm excited to have you now. You have to subscribe to the newsletter. You are listening to the Self-Employed Success Podcast. This is your source for inspiration, advice, and strategies for building financial independence without a traditional corporate job. Each episode features interviews with successful entrepreneurs, freelancers, and business owners who have achieved financial freedom through self-employment. Whether you're just starting out on your entrepreneurial journey or you're a seasoned pro looking for new ideas, this podcast will give you the tools and insights you need to create a life and business that you love. Join us as we explore the world of self-employment and learn how to build the income, the freedom, and fulfillment you deserve. Starting a side hustle allows you to test your business idea before fully committing to it. This allows you to see if there is a market for your product or for your service, and if it is something that you're truly passionate about. For a long time, I remember sitting in my cubicle wondering what service am I going to offer out there? Because there's a lot. And I know before you tuned in to this podcast, you were probably on TikTok or perhaps on Instagram liking my post. (laughs) I know you have. Thank you very much. But if you weren't, you were somewhere on social media, right? So there's no lack of information out there on social media and beyond, meaning on the internet. But at the end of the day, It's all about finding something that you're truly passionate about that is going to be the foundation of what you're going to create. And so the good news is having a side hustle, at least in my experience, it can help you validate your business idea because it allows you to see if there is a demand for your product or service. For me, I conducted a lot of market research and that's what I want to encourage you to do if you have yet to do that. Or perhaps you have a freebie out there and nobody wants to sign up for a freebie, like something's wrong, right? That's probably because you have yet to tap into your target market needs and understand what exactly what they want. And so I'm going to give you a tip on how to do that. At least for me, what I did is leverage two things. Number one, Facebook. Private Facebook groups were my gold. Why? Because I don't know if you know this, but when you go inside a private Facebook group, and listen, even if you're full in your side hustle right now, out of corporate or not, this could still work because I believe that market research needs to be something that you do on a consistent basis as a business because consumer decision change consistently, right? And so inside Facebook group communities that are, let's be clear, align with your expertise, you can go in the search bar, put a couple of keywords in there, and it will populate all of the posts within that community that has mentioned that keyword. And between looking at comments and posts, that's definitely information and data 
that you want to gather. Listen, I am a adjunct professor at different colleges and my main course that I teach across institutions where I'm at right now is marketing. And I spend a lot of time with my students making sure that they understand clearly the power of target marketing. Because the reality is you can speak to everyone and at the end of the day speak to no one. So it is important to Do your data search, your market research, so that you can validate your business idea, right? And ensure that what it is that you're passionate about is something that you can transform people with. And so leverage social media that way. The second thing that I remember doing outside of Facebook group, and I still continue to do that, is leveraging messaging. And so for me, initially, I was in the DMs, sliding in the DMs left and right, let me tell you. But not everybody, not all the accounts. Obviously, I curated accounts that I knew was aligned with what it is that I was offering at the time. And I genuinely reached out to the DM and said, hey, I'm running a market research to be able to launch XYZ product. I would love your help if you could answer two simple questions, right? And most often than not, people would that did not even know me would say, absolutely, what are your questions? And I would go ahead and gather that data. As a marketer of your own business, as a marketer of your own side hustle, you need to embrace data. And because that's how you are going to have a business, a side hustle that's going to be successful. So you have to know your target market. You need to be able to search. And so a side hustle gives you the opportunity to do that to determine if your business idea is good. The other thing is it also gives you the opportunity to see if your business idea is financially viable, right? And so by generating income from your side hustle, You can see if your business can be profitable in the long term so that you can invest more in yourself and your business. And so if you launch something or planning to launch something and you had two conversions versus the 10 that you were hoping to get, don't get upset. That's a good thing. That's because you're starting and that's okay. Learn from it. But at the end of the day, you will understand that, okay, this is probably not financially viable for me. I need to revamp, reformat in order for it to generate a little bit more. And so let's go back to that target market conversation again. You following me? Hopefully you are, because we definitely want to embrace the fact that having a side hustle is a good opportunity when you want to get started in your self-employment success journey um, as a result of that. Now, let's continue to dive in and we are going to be wrapping up very shortly. I'm so glad you're listening all the way to this point. This tells me that you're truly invested and I love it. I definitely want to hear from you. Do share this podcast episode with anybody that you think would find it valuable. Leave a comment, leave a review. I definitely want to hear from you. I love hearing from my community. And so starting a business requires a lot of time and effort, especially when you still have a corporate nine to five. I get it. I was there. And it's important to ensure that it's something you're genuinely interested, as I mentioned to you at the top of the conversation. You got to be passionate about it. And so by starting a side hustle, you can get a sense of what it's like to run your own business, right? It gives you an idea of what comes with it, because I know you're by yourself. Most likely you don't have a team as of yet, because you will have one. But at least having a side hustle, instead of starting this, like, you know, this is my business, Shark Tank style, this is it kind of thing. You have the opportunity to test the waters and really see if this is a fit for you. It's not for everybody, the self-employment success story. Just like everybody doesn't want to get married or everybody doesn't want to go to college, it's the same way. Not everybody wants to be an entrepreneur, but you do because you're here and you're listening. And so I want to motivate you to continue to understand that there is so many 
benefits and opportunities by having a side hustle, such as really helping you develop the skills and experience you need to be a successful entrepreneur. When you are building that side hustle, you're going to come across a lot of challenges, a lot of setbacks. And those are things that you're going to overcome. And you probably did earlier today, went through something challenging, or perhaps last year or last month. And correct me if I'm wrong, aren't you stronger, right? Do you not know better now, right? As a result of it, that's exactly why I love having you explore having that side hustle so that you can have the skills and experiences develop within you to build those entrepreneurial muscles that you need so that you are successful when you are self-employed. A side hustle can give you a taste, right, of what it's like to be on your own to be your own boss. It's also going to give you a sense of what does it look like to manage your own finances? What does it look like to have to be the customer service person? What does it look like to be your own social media marketer so that you can get more leads? And so as we continue this episode and almost uh, at the end of it, really, I want you to understand that it's very, very important to keep in mind that a side hustle should be treated as a serious business. Otherwise, your mindset is not going to be in the right place, in my opinion. And you're going to look at the side hustle like a hobby, like an expensive hobby. And as a result of that, it's going to be very hard for you to figure out how to continue to build onto it and potentially scale it. It's not something to be taken lightly, the side hustle of yours, but rather to approach it with a business mindset is what I'm trying to make sure that you leave with uh, when you finish this podcast episode with me. And so setting goals is important. Tracking your progress is important. Having the discipline and the time management skills that you need is important. And it's very tough if you're one that's listening to this and you're still at your corporate job and doing this side hustle. It can be challenging, I know, but it's a great way to dip your toes into the entrepreneurial waters without fully diving in. And if you are fully self-employed successfully, understand that the challenges are still there, but you got it in you. You know that it requires discipline. You know that it requires monitoring. You know it requires you to continue to show up for that business of yours. Take it seriously. And listen, don't beat yourself up if version 1.1 doesn't work or 1.0 version 0 doesn't work. You can always launch version 2.0. Listen, this podcast started Mm, eight years ago as a different podcast like I had like four renderings of it or three rend- I can't even remember and it's okay I'm here today talking to you and meeting you and so I want you to not beat yourself up continue to show up continue to develop your skills continue to invest in that side hustle and I want to hear about your side hustle that's my call to action for you in this episode Hit me up in the DMs. Let's talk. And by the way, if you want to be a guest on this podcast, let's chat about it. I'm sure you will be perfect in making sure that you share with us tips and insights on how to successfully be self-employed without having a corporate job and worrying about the next payroll. All right. And so side hustle it is. That's what we talked about today. And I can't wait to have you in the next episode. This is Martine. Hope to see you in the DMs. Wasn't this a great episode? Make sure you subscribe, share this with a friend, or leave us a comment or a review. Thank you so much for listening to the Self-Employed Success Podcast.